everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and you know we've been talking about this warm weather and beautiful weather and it is, seems to be continuing knock on wood um, but what that spells for real estate is curb appeal time. Absolutely. This is when the grass grows, everything's green, you've got flowers everywhere. Right. This is the perfect time to really work on the curb appeal, especially if it's your listing. Work on really showing off your house for those people who are doing drive-bys like we recommend regularly. Yes, and the ones doing drive-bys are the ones with cars full of children. Yes. <laughs> because the house is all of a sudden becoming very small. Mm -hmm. So get out and when you realize that, it's, it's the time to go and find your new home, do these drive-bys. Buys. Uh, your, your Red Brenner Williams signs are very prominent, but as we've talked about before, they don't have to be a Red Brenner Williams listing for you guys to be able to represent somebody to buy that. Absolutely. We can show anybody any listing, as can any realtor, so if you see something you like, definitely give us a call. We'd be honored to help you. All right. Speaking of listings you like, we're going to show you five of those today. Hopefully. Uh, the first one, let's start out in Paintsville. Now this one is Kathy Brown's listing. Mm -hmm. This is Kathy's listing and this is on Walnut Avenue in Paintsville. If you're familiar with Paintsville at all and you know where Broadway is, mm -hmm. this is right off Broadway. It's the neighborhood that sits right off Broadway and this is a really popular neighborhood. It's a real, one of those neighborhoods you can walk around in the evenings, you can go out and ride your bikes and this also offers a really nice beautiful private backyard space which I know we love to talk about the outdoor mm -hmm. space in downtown areas you don't always get that private yard or right. the yard space this house offers that it's a yard full of flowers and trees covered patio so very very usable it's got a newly updated kitchen solid surface countertops all new appliances so you have those updates already completed hopefully it's one you could just move in right three bedrooms on the second floor and you've got a full bath so you've got one on the bottom floor so no matter what combination that you, that you need that would fit your family, it seems like this house could accommodate that. I think so. And you also, the great thing that I like is it's that older style home. So you've got that cottage style. Mm -hmm. They offer a living room plus a family room that had both of them have fireplaces. So after this hot, hot summer that we're having, you can always count on you're going to have those fireplaces to heat up during the winter. Right. Now, well, you said off Broadway, convenient to everything Paintsville has to offer, mm -hmm. shopping, schools, and everything. So if this is an area that you're looking at possibly purchasing a home into uh, in, then definitely look at this one, Kathy Brown's listing, and the price under $200,000. That's correct. It's listed at $199. And again, like you said, call Kathy Brown and you can actually email her would probably be the easiest on okay. this one. That's cbrown at rbnw.com. All right. Now, moving on. Now, this one's actually in Prestonsburg, but it's still out of the Paintsville office. Now, this one's on Conley Fork in Prestonsburg. It is. And Conley Fork is kind of one of those, it's very close to Johnson County, even though it's in Floyd County. Mm -hmm. And it's off of Abbott Creek in 1750. So, if you're familiar with that area, you've turned on Abbott Creek in Floyd County and you're kind of winding back around towards Johnson County. Right and Abbott Creek it comes out right on US 23 mm -hmm. so if you're traveling US 23 between Prestonsburg and Paintsville Abbott Creek is right there so it's, it's convenient but yet far enough off of the main road to where you still have that country feel. You know looking at the price on this one you know that's under $115,000. So no matter what your budget is, your budget may be a little bit more, but you can always buy a house like this with a property and make it your own. You've got 1,450 square feet, but the great thing is you also have an attached screened in porch. So if right. you ever wanted to finish that out for additional square footage, you could, but you also have that outdoor space that we both love so much uh -huh. where you can sit outside, enjoy spring and fall weather, enjoy your evenings, anything like that. I mean, and looking on the inside, you've got your hardwood flooring, you've got your fireplace, and then a lot of people love those big, bright, airy kitchens. And this one, you can see the picture of that. And, you know, looking at that front yard, gardening, you know, trampolines, playground equipment, even a pool. You've mm -hmm. got room for every bit of that. So this is one of those I'm going to go back into and say it again. Come into this one, make it your own. Absolutely, especially at the price. Right. As we said just a minute ago, $114,900. So under $115,000 for this home. You get the privacy, you get everything with that. So 
uh, give them a call. This is your listing, but they can call mm -hmm. the Paintsville office. Absolutely. Call the Paintsville office. You can talk to any of our agents down there. That number is 606-789-8119. All right. Moving to our next listing, let's get up into Pike County a little mm -hmm. bit. Now, if you're going from Prestonsburg into Pike County, this one's going to be in Coal Run, just off to your left. Correct. And if you're familiar with where Wendy's is, mm -hmm. it is a road right past Wendy's if you're coming from that direction. And this is on Childers Road. This house you will never know is there from US 23. It's four acres. There is quite wow. a bit of hillside, but you have, like you said, that huge yard that you can see. And they've done all the extras with this one. That yard has a sprinkler system that's on its own water meter. Wow. It's a three-tier system, so you can do it in sections or anything like that. So you have those kind of extras that really make this house special. And all the green thumbs right now are going, wow, because I have some plants that require more water than others. So you can go, okay, this section over here gets watered twice a day. This is one that they redid um, in around 2006. So they redid the kitchen, all new um, cabinets, countertops. They went with granite. Appliances are all stainless. Um, they redid flooring. They added the master bedroom suite with a tile floor that's heated and a walk-in oh, wow. shower. It really does have all those extras. And looking at, you know, the kitchen, you see the recessed lighting. Mm -hmm. And then talk about an open floor plan. You can tell a couple of these pictures. You're looking from one room straight into the other. And then my favorite room is actually the sunroom picture that we also have on there. Mm -hmm. That sunroom is so private and it's a large room. So it really is a separate living space. But it's just, you're surrounded by windows. It's like you're sitting outside. So it's a large enough home that everybody can have their own space. Mm -hmm. Everybody can be home at the same time, but not be in each other's face and have that privacy. Exactly. And then you've talked about this one before, saying that you are so close to US 23 and Colrin, but you don't know it. Mm -hmm. You can't even see the four lane from where this is. So. Definitely. Now, is this one they can do a drive-by on? Absolutely. This is one that you can do a drive-by on. Like I said, the road is right there close to where Wendy's is in Coal Run. So you can drive up there, take a look from the, from the road, and see what you think. And then give you a call. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. This is your listing, so let's give you the Pikeville office number. Okay. That number is 606-437-2333. Okay. Moving on to the next one, just up the road from this, this last one at Coal Run. This one's on Ratliff's Creek. Mm -hmm. And this one, as you know, Ratliff's Creek's a popular area because you're it just is. out of the city limits. You're only about a mile off US 23. So it's not far up Ratliff's Creek at all, in a great location, super convenient. Really, you're kind of in the middle of Ratliff's Creek, so you can get very easily to 23. You can get very easily to Town Mountain Road and 119. Right, very, very convenient for the days when, when 23 traffic is, is bad, just go out the other way. Um, convenience, uh, it's always nice to be able to say there's two ways to get to this house. It's got 2,700 square feet above grade. That, so yeah. that is finished. You have another 800 square feet that is below grade unfinished basement. But I will tell you, this is a basement I don't care to walk into. You know, some of those below grade basements, yeah. a little sketchy on walking down there. This is one you can walk straight into and not have a worry. Cleanest, dry, you don't feel like you've got spiders all over you type of basement. <laughs> so, I mean, we're truly, we're really looking at almost 3,500 mm -hmm. square feet, even though you can't count what's what's below grade, but you've got tons of space for whatever you want to do with this home. Absolutely. Um, this one screams family to me. Plus, you've got all this flat area. Mm -hmm. Two acres this close to downtown Pikeville, it's something you don't see very often. It isn't, and this, you can tell, the reason that I took the outside picture that shows the side yard is because, look at that yard. I mean, you actually have, you could do a mm -hmm. pool, a garage, a playground. You could build another house if you really wanted to. I mean, it's a large yard space. So for, for those families that have um, maybe the, the elderly person that needs to come back and live close to them, but yeah, they still want their own independence. This gives all kinds of options for things like that. It really does. All right, and you've got the two-car garage built in. So more things that we can mention in this show. So if this is piquing your interest, uh, let's just give your email address on that one. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, 265000 for this one, so still very affordable, that close to the city. If that's your market and that's the price range you're in, definitely give Jennifer a call or, or an email her on that one. Now, moving to this last one, we, we've saved a brand new listing for last because this is one we've not featured before. Correct. This is a brand new listing, and it is located right off Chloe Road. 
If you're coming from town, you're about four miles up on the right. Mm -hmm. If you're coming from 460, 80, you're about a half mile up on the left. And like we talked about a minute ago, you know, Cloy Road is very popular because a lot of people, if they need to go to the Elkhorn area or Shelby Anna or anything on that end, very accessible. And actually, you're closer to that end with this home, but on the other way, I mean, just go right down and you're in downtown Pikeville on the other end of Cloy. Exactly. Very convenient, especially if you've got somebody working on either, either side of the town mm -hmm. or anything like that. Very convenient location. And, you know, this one's another one with a yard. I think the theme today is nice yards. Yeah. <laughs> this is the nice yard show. Um, and this is another one that offers a lot of possibilities. It does. You've got about a half acre. You can see from the front and the rear picture that are included. The front picture actually shows they've got part of the yard gravel. They've got a camper and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So you could have tons of parking. With the driveway that's there that now, you could easily park six to eight cars if you wanted to. So you have a lot of space. Plus, you can see that beautiful large yard in the front and the back. And this is one that you know, we talk about drive-bys. This is sitting right on the main cloy, but you wouldn't know that it is so close to the main road by looking at it. So it mm -hmm. sits back off the road enough to give you just enough of a feel to have that yard and you're not right on that road. It does, and to be honest, this is one that you can easily pass. It sits a little bit, I wouldn't say hidden, but it kind of does. Mm -hmm. Like you, you almost don't even see it where it sits, so you still have that privacy. Even from the house, you don't feel like you're directly on Chloe. And then, you know, for those who like large rooms, I mean, the kitchen, you can tell, large kitchen. And then that's a large sectional in that living room. <laughs> and not everyone has a couch that large. So just think, if you're thinking, well, I've got a couch in the love seat, how much larger that living room is going to look like. Exactly. And that's why we included that picture is it shows the size of the living room. What you don't see is right where I'm standing to take the picture is a beautiful fireplace. Oh, wow. So you also have that character and charm in that living room as well. And then this one's had a lot of updates. They updated the kitchen and both bathrooms fairly recently. So it's also got a lot of that that hopefully somebody wouldn't have to come in and do. So this one's got a lot of space, and I know that's probably one of your biggest challenges doing this show is going, we've got room for four pictures. What four pictures <laughs> do I have that is a perfect representation of this listing? Exactly, and it makes it hard, so you want to show everybody a variety. <laughs> right, because, you know, it's like inside, outside, large bedrooms. So if it's something that in these four pictures you're thinking, wow, I want to see more, then, then absolutely Jennifer can take care of you. And this one being a new listing, I'm sure you're going to be one of the first ones to take a look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, I, and I hope everybody calls. The great news is, just so everybody knows, our stuff feeds directly into Realtor.com. Okay. It now also feeds directly into Zillow.com. So if you see a listing that you want and you want to see these extra pictures, both of those websites can help you out. Wow. And, we, and, and on this one that we were just talking about on Chloe, 189 mm -hmm. Thousand, so under two hundred thousand for for what we've shown you, and everything today has been about in that price range. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is one of those. Give Jennifer a call. There's no reason why if two of these or three of these were appealing to you that you can't schedule all of those in one afternoon. Oh, absolutely. We do that all the time. So anything you have an interest in, and if we know you have an interest in something that are similar to these, we can always add a few to them that we right. think might fit as well. Which is always one of the bonuses to hiring a realtor. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to step out now and let you finish up the show with your Real Estate Minute. Thank you. How do you know when you're ready to buy? There are a couple steps that you can take to make sure you're on track to purchase a new home. First, start early by maintaining good credit and improving your credit by paying off debt while saving for a down payment for the future. Second, pre-approval through your lender and credit check. This will confirm that you can qualify for a loan and the price of the home that you can purchase. Third, find a realtor to assist you through the home buying process and start viewing potential homes. This process can be stressful, so find a realtor that you can trust to walk you through step by step. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you soon on our next episode of the Ray Brown Williams Real Estate Show.